this, this session is today is going to be on Lebensal. And I have done this before, but it's so important, particularly these days when people are very aggressive and want to interfere all the time. So um, this session will be recorded. If you want uh, access to the recording, you'll be able to get it from Rosie's Lessons at gmail.com. Um, Lebensal is a pretty complicated convention. So it's my job as a teacher to make it simple and straightforward. I was very lucky because I learned it in a class where there were three people, four people, the teacher and his wife and my husband and I, and nobody else showed up um, at this class. And so we got undivided attention and I found it very simple and straightforward to follow the way that it was presented. I will try to do an equally good job. Now, those of you who come regularly to these sessions know that I usually start off with um, a situation that is very easy for you to handle and then introduce the complications. So that's what we're going to do today. So we'll start recording now. I'm going to welcome everybody. I'm pulling up my labor sold deals. And we are off to the races. And on this hand, Leslie is uh, south and she's going to open the bidding. Leslie, do you have the bidding box? I'm oh, good, okay. I have a double click, Rosemary. It takes me an extra second. Okay. No problem. Now, um, I'm going to open the, the cards so that even the people at the table can see these. So Jake has a very nice hand. Right now, I want him to pass. And we'll see what Marissa would do if Jake says pass. Marissa's going to bid two clubs, which, of course, is stable. <laughs> So let's undo this. Ask for an undo, please, um, Marissa. And Jake, ask for an undo. And this time I want Jake to bid um, two clubs. Jake, please undo. Trying to. Thanks. Okay. So Jake is going to bid two clubs. For those who play that um, um, bidding a suit over one no trump is natural. This is a natural bid. Jake is saying, I've got a six card club suit partner and I'm trying to mess them up. So what can Marissa do if Jake bids two clubs? Well, she had planned to bid stamen. So she can use the double. Um, some people will call this a stolen bid double. This is the only stolen bid that I approve of. We have other uses for double at other points in the auction. But two clubs, I think Marissa could say double to say, partner, I was planning to bid stamen. Okay, uh, let's undo all of that. Uh, let's go back to Jake, you're asked for an undo. And Jake, please. I'm trying. Thank you. Now, some people play a system over one no trump where they say double to say, partner, I have a six card suit somewhere in my hand. So this time, Jake, I want you to say double. So we should have the agreement that if the opponent says double, any meaning that we can still bid stamen or we could still make a transfer. So in this situation, Marissa is going to bid stamen, two clubs. So I hope everybody can see that whether with the Jake's hand, whether he said double or whether he bid two, uh, two clubs, it didn't spoil Marissa from doing what she always planned to do, which was to bid Stamen. Everybody okay with this? Yes. And then 
um, because we'll go on to the next hand. Leslie's going to answer, they're going to find a spade fit and Jake doesn't count for anything. His cards don't count for anything on this deal. We, he did not screw us up sufficiently. We had tools to cope. So this is the first thing that we should always agree that stamen is on if the opponent interferes with either double any meaning or two clubs, any meaning. <coughs> You're not, you're not obligated. If his two club bids said clubs and a higher suit, you may not want to bid. You might want to come in later and see if his other suit is a major because you might want to double him for penalty if he ended up in hearts or spades. But if you, but when he says double, I have a long suit somewhere. Uh, he can't have both your majors. You might still have a major fit. Um, he doesn't promise clubs. So you can still bid stamen either way. Let's go on to the next deal. Well, that's the same hand, basically. Now this time, if Jake says double, I have a, a one suited hand without revealing what it is. If he bids um, double to say, I've got a six bagger somewhere. Once again, um, systems are on. So let's say he starts with double. What would Marissa's bid be this time? She would bid two hearts to make a transfer. I think everybody can see that she's got plenty of space to do that. So we can agree that over, over double, to say I have a long suit somewhere, we can, we can bid stamen, two clubs if we wish, or we can bid a red suit to make to be a transfer. By the way, I hope everybody's aware that we no longer use the word transfer. The two heart bidder here while we're on BBO has to type in the word spades. This heart bid means that I've got spades, okay. Uh, Jake, please ask for an undo. Okay. This time, Jake is going to bid two diamonds. So let's say he bids two diamonds because he's playing natural. He's got a six card diamond suit. Now, systems might be on over double or two clubs, but they are not on over two diamonds. So once we get as high as two diamonds by the opponent, everything changes. So how can Marissa show her hand? She has five spades. So she can't make a transfer anymore. She can bid spades herself. The question is what number of spades should she bid? So let's count her points and see how many points she has. Four, eight, Another four in the spade suit is 12. So 12 points, is this a P or an I or a G hand? Uh, P, I, I'm thinking pig, P is for um, pass, zero to seven. I is for invite, exactly eight or nine. G is for game, promising 10 or more. So four, eight, 12, that's a G hand. So Marissa has to bid her spades, but in a way that is forcing to gain. So how can she do that? She jumps a level. Instead of bidding two spades, she's going to jump to three spades. So Marissa, please bid three spades. Now, this is a very unusual bid. And it's, we would normally never do that. But over this two diamond interference, everything changes. And we are now in Labensol territory. So if you want to make a note, Labensol responses start at the opponent's two diamond bid. Two of the major by responder is to play. So that would be a zero to seven hand would be to play. Three of the major is a game force promising five cards in the major. 
Okay. Um, I will get some notes together to send out to people. I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. It might not make one page, but these basic things, what I call lab and soil part one, will certainly make one page. So you don't have to worry about taking notes while, we're, while you're watching this. So this is a game force saying we have enough for game and I've got five spades. I hope you have a fit with me. East is gonna pass. They have nothing to contribute to this conversation. And now Leslie's got an easy decision. Her partner said, we have to go to game. Does she have a fit in spades? Yes, she does. So where is the game? Four spades, excellent. And Jake says, hmm, nobody's interested in my suit. Mm -hmm. And so we, we get to four spades. Are we going to make it? I don't see why not. We have to lose a heart. And we hopefully we've got enough spades to rough most of these losing clubs. So we'll certainly make four, maybe five. Very nice hand, nice way to get there. So let's just review the salient facts. One no trump, over one no trump, opponent interferes. Starting with a bid of two diamonds or anything higher, Laban Sol comes to if, into effect. Our, our statement and our transfers are different. So two of a major is to play or drop dead, must be passed. Three of a major is a game force. Invitational in a major might be down the road, it might be Laban Sol part two. I don't know if we'll get that far today. Okay. Any questions on what I've covered so far? Nope, thank you. Yes. yes. I can see one question. Why are transfers off after two diamonds? Well, because how would you transfer to hearts after two diamonds? Now, some people are gonna say, well, I would double to show stolen bid. There are better uses for that double. Now, I'm not telling people that you must change your system and change to my system. These lessons are attempts to show you what systems are available to you that are considered by advanced players and experts to be superior to something you might be playing when you first start learning to play bridge. So, um, you never have to learn Laban Sol if you don't wish, but I cannot live without it. I, I play in the, uh, in the you know, open games. People are in your face 100% of the time. They seldom let you have an uncontested auction. So unless we have coping tools, we're going to get bullied and, and stamped all over, trod, trodden all, all over. So I can't live without this bid. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are two questions about alerts. Yes. Um, the two diamond bid, depending on the player's system, we said that this two diamonds was natural. He really has six diamonds. Um, three spades is not alertable. Uh, I don't believe it's alertable. Um, it's a jump in spades, but it is spades. It promises spades. And it promises some kind of strength in spades that's pretty, pretty normal. So I don't believe that that is alertable. Other bids within the system may very well be alertable, but three spades is not. Usually a bid is alerted if it isn't what it sounds like. This sounds like spades and a good hand. So not alertable. Was there another question, Paul? Or was no, that? you answered. Thank you. Okay, let's go on to the next deal. I have an easy job today, Rosemary. Well, so far. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jake, I want you to bid two diamonds again, please. Natural. So you can see here that um, it's impossible to make a transfer. He's, he's certainly stolen the two diamond bid. If he hadn't bid, this hand would bid, Marissa would bid two diamonds. 
and um, partner would make the transfer and then Marissa would bid three no Trump. She wouldn't care too much about her six of clubs. She might bid three diamonds to say that I've got a singleton somewhere. I'm five, four, three, one. Um, but most of the time she's going to show that she's got a game forcing hand. So here over two diamonds, how will she show her strength and her shape? Three hearts, the jump to three hearts says this time, partner, I have a game force with three hearts. Four hearts, Leslie has a fit and bids the heart game. Auction over. Any questions? Uh, I can see a question that says, does Laban Soul replace don't? No, Laban Soul is a tool that is used by the no Trump bidder and his partner. Um, don't is a way to interfere over no Trump. Laban Soul is how the no Trump pair cope with that interference. But so far the bids have not been alertable. We've had a case where um, North has got a game forcing hand with five of the major, so she jumps in the major to send that message. It's a double, double message, five hearts, at least 10 points. Yes. Someone is trying to get in and I can't, okay, maybe he's in now. So let's see what happened this time. Um, one no trump by Leslie. Jake knows his job, two diamonds. And now Marissa has just bid two hearts. So what kind of hand does she have this time? She has a, a P hand, P for pass, zero to seven points. So Jake didn't disturb her at all. She was able to cope with the interference by using this set of agreements that are part of the Laban Sol Convention. So two hearts, excellent. Um, I don't know why Tom would bid three clubs. Okay, ask what, what long suit is. Uh, oh, I've got it, Never mind. I'll undo. <laughs> the two diamonds huh? here was, was natural. Yep. Okay. Um, but do, do you play that that when he says he's got a long suit, you're still going to ask him at the three level? I don't, it doesn't make sense, no. Oh, no, I don't think so. He can always bid his suit if he wishes to compete. Okay. But often it's just enough to, to screw them up in the first mm -hmm. place. So uh, Tom is going to pass. Tom's actually thinking that this might go well. He now knows that North doesn't have much. It may, melt, may well be that he and his partner have more points than the opponents. And he's got two bullets on defense. So it won't be so easy. Leslie did the right thing. Her partner said, I've got a P as in pass hand. Please remember your alphabet and what P stands for. And Leslie remembered, so she passed. Tom, uh, Jake decided that he didn't have the chutzpah to compete any further, <laughs> which is good. Okay. Um, somebody's asking a question. They think that three no Trump would have made in the last few hands. Well, three of it, three no Trump making three is 400 and four of a major making four is 420. And my advice always is this level of, of players who are here at this class today, when you have a fit in the major, play in the major. Leave those no Trump decisions to the experts who might want to, to try to get an extra, you know, um, an extra trick and make 430 instead of 420. But that's seldom correct. And we're not good enough declarers to be able to pull that off.
Now let's all look at Marissa's hand. Marissa has 10 points. So if Jake had been silent, what would her bid have been? She would jump to three no trump to say game. I've got enough for game, no five card major, not even a four card major, but I do have enough to go to game. Um, so what should she do now that Jake bid two diamonds? Okay, now, this, I know it, but this is artificial. No, you're not gonna bid that. No, just no. to, no, so that she says three clubs. You're not gonna bid that. Okay, sorry. Please. Fine. So, um, Marissa has a little dilemma. Does she show that she has enough for game and will partner think she has a stopper? So we have to have an agreement. She's going to show her game values, but she's also going to tell her partner that she does not have a stopper in diamonds. So how can she do that? Well, there's two ways to do it, but the way that most of us do it is that jumping directly Direct denies a stopper. Okay. So three no trump by Marissa says okay. three no trump, please. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Three no trump means three no trump says game, but no stopper. Okay. Game. So, no so now this is part of Labensol. You could agree that bidding three no trump shows a stopper. So direct denies yes. and flow shows. That's okay. easy to remember because it's okay. alliterative. But okay. some people play it the opposite way around. Okay. I have always played it this way, that direct denies a stopper. So now when it comes back to South, what is South going to do? She knows that um, North has got points, so we have enough points for game, but North doesn't have a stopper. But South has a stopper. So Leslie has a diamond stopper, and you just have to pray. I mean, what else are you going to do? You just have to pray that it will be good enough, your partner's hand is good enough, that we're going to be able to take nine tricks. So Leslie is going to pass and Jake is on lead. So what is Jake going to lead? He knows that South has a stopper. He listened to the auction. So he has a choice. He can say, well, I'm probably going to win a trick with my king of spades or one of my hearts. So if I give up a trick, I will get in later and maybe I can cash the rest of the tricks. Or he could say, well, I'm gonna leave low. So what are we gonna do here, Leslie? By the way, the lead that he made is my, it would be more of my favorite lead if he had if he'd led the queen, but he didn't have it. So, what is Tom going to do? He's going to play the two. What are you going to do, Leslie? I'm going to take my nine tricks off the top. Okay. Right. If Leslie did not play her king then, she would never get it. I'm going to play nine tricks off the top and, and, and make the contract. Okay. So Leslie counted one diamond and hopefully five clubs is six, and two hearts is eight, and the ace of spades is nine. She cannot afford to make any finesse on this deal. And as long as the clubs behave, she will take nine tricks. So you can stop right there, please, Leslie. You don't need to play it out. Um, so, in fact, how many tricks have you got? Two? Just claim seven tricks, please, Leslie. Seven more tricks. Okay, so now we can see everything. So I just want to review the bidding. One no trump by South, two diamonds, natural. Three no trump, game but no stopper in diamonds. 
partner, you decide what to do. And Leslie did three no Trump on blind faith that if they've got enough points, if he had been silent, they would be there anyway. So that's how you have to think about it. Not, oh, I'm panicky. Is my king and doubleton good enough? Um, if he hadn't bid, it would have quite happily gone one no, three no, end of auction. So we should at least be there and hope that we can make it. At least we know what the danger is. Okay, let's go on to the next hand. We have a question referring to a previous hand. It's a general question go ahead. Uh, from Judy. She said, in the previous hand, two hearts, the bid was for under eight points. Three right. hearts, like the three spades, says going to game. What about eight to nine points? Which I, said, is neither. I said that I intended to address that later. Okay, thank you. I, said, I, I, I also said I don't know if we will get that far today. I also see a question, could Tom have raised the diamonds? I don't think so. He had queen third. And nothing else. So one no trump, two diamonds. What does Marissa have this time? Well, this time she's got four, eight, 14 points oh, and she has a diamond stopper. Yes. So bidding three no trump doesn't help because Leslie will think that, that Marissa doesn't have a stopper. And if she doesn't have one, they'll miss their game. So how can Marissa show the stopper? Well, number one, she's going to take a detour. So remember a moment ago, I said direct denies a stopper and slow shows a stopper. So we're gonna take a slow road the three no trump. So the first thing that Marissa is going to do is to bid two no trump. Do, do I alert it somehow? Yes. Yeah. This, this is forcing to three clubs. Okay. Oh, that's the one I, I wanted to do before. Right. I mistook it. Uh, forcing to three. See. Okay. Okay. There it is. There it goes. Okay, so two no trump is forcing to three clubs. Now, because two no trump is not what it sounds like, it, um, we don't really know what it is. It has a very specific meaning that South must now bid three clubs. And we don't know what will happen at that point. Uh, it must be alerted as forcing to three clubs. So this is not a transfer. This is what's called a relay or just forcing to three clubs. That's all you have to say. And they might say, what does it mean? And it just says that she must bid three clubs and then North will reveal her hand. You know, sometimes people think they're not getting the full explanation. So they're demanding, they press that little blue explain button. <laughs> and it's very irritating because then you can't get rid of it. <laughs> the other day asked me to explain 12 to 14 no trials. <laughs> <laughs> I refused. I mean, I just didn't bother. Uh, <laughs> Tell so them to take off their socks. Now, uh, Leslie has been three clubs. She's she's a bane of blind. She does not know where this auction is going. So she's in her partner's hands. So Jake is going to pass. He told his story. Okay, and, and now I... is going to bid. She knows what to do. Okay, yes. Three no Trump. So why didn't she bid three no Trump in the first place? Because this slow, slow way, taking the detour through the two no Trump gateway guarantees a stopper in the opponent's suit. So if you remember a moment ago, it went one no Trump, two diamonds, three no Trump, game but no stopper. This time, when she's got the ace of the opponent's suit, one no, two diamonds, two no trump, three clubs, if you say so, 
three no trump game with a stopper partner let's be happy and rejoice um he tried to stop our, our fun but i've got a stopper so leslie can pass very happily okay um question for you rosemary uh it, what what would you say constitutes a, stop, a stopper um the ace yes definitely at least king doubleton the way leslie had before Mm -hmm. uh, Queen third, Jack fourth. Okay, thank you. Even the ten fifth, ten nine fifth might be a stopper. So you might struggle, but Queen Doubleton is not a stopper. And King, King and one is not a very good stopper. Um, but, but you have to say it regardless, because if you've got King Doubleton in the north hand, uh, you know where the ace is. It's undoubtedly on your right. So your king will will produce a trick. Got it. You have to pray. So Do you want us to play? No, I just want you to count the tricks. How many tricks do we have? Two diamonds, five clubs, seven, two two hearts, and nice. a spade. Okay. So we're going to make the contract. What card are you going to play from the dummy? The four. Right. We're going to win this trick with the High card from the short side. Right. We're going to win with the king in our hand. And we may have to hold up on the ace. We want to make certain that east runs out. Although the chances are that west is the person with most of the uh, controls. Now, what we might want to do, let's look at this gorgeous spade suit. Maybe what we should do is when we cross to the clubs, while we still have the Ace of Diamonds over there and the Ace of Hearts to get to it, we should play on spades. And we will set up spade tricks for ourselves. So instead of cashing the Ace King of Diamonds, we look to see if we can take any other chances. Well, if, even if we lose the King of Spades, we'll still get three spade tricks. Sure. And two hearts is five and two diamonds is seven and five clubs is 12. Right. So we cannot be hurt, but we have to take this finesse early on. And, and we have to do it while we still have control in diamonds. Um, I can see that somebody says, um, if we bid three no trump without a stopper, leaving it to partner. Well, the no trump person may or may not have a stopper. If they have a stopper, it's easy. If they don't, we have to scramble. So South would then bid, in this case, she would bid her four card club suit. And uh, North would have to judge whether to pass or look for a better fit somewhere else. It, 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 you would be scrambling to find another place to play. Question on the last hand, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, why not look for this land? Um, how many points did she have? 14 and, um, and maybe 17, that's 31, against a partner who's got a long six card suit and we have one stopper. One stopper in that suit means that, um, I mean, North no, doesn't know that South's got the king. So it would be a very bad slam to, to think about. If you have to take a finesse and it loses, here come all the diamonds. You will often hear more advanced players saying, well, it, it's cold for six, but you can't bid it. And that last hand was uh, an example. Well, I, I'm not going to allow Marissa's bid. Oh. So we're going to go back out. Okay. So she, she could bid no Trump, but she doesn't have a stopper. So why put all your eggs in one basket? Is it possible that North has a, um, has a four card heart suit? I mean, that South has a four card heart suit. It's possible. Would you say? Yes. 
So oh, no. Marissa yes. is going to bid Stamen. Yes. How can she bid Stamen when um, two clubs is no longer available? Okay. He can bid the enemy suit. Oh. Wow. So two diamonds, three diamonds, says partner, do you have a four card major? And Leslie's going to answer, yes, she does. Ah, but now Marissa, Marissa has a dilemma because she doesn't have spades. So, but she has enough points for game. So she's going to bid three no trump. Um, Jake's going to pass. Jake, I need you to pass so that I can bid three. Three no trump, you said. Okay. Right. So now, but does Marissa have a stopper? No. No, because she didn't go through three club through two no trump. So she has she has game, but no stopper in diamonds, and what's more, no fit in spades. But Leslie has a, a diamond stopper. So Leslie can pass. Now, on this hand, if Leslie did not have a diamond stopper, what would she do? She would retreat to four hearts, knowing that they were in a 4-3 fit, but that would be um, better than being in 3-no trump when neither of you have a stopper. And I'll always remind you, I was defending seven spades against somebody who had was in a 4-3 fit at the seven level, and I had Jack fourth, and she made her contract. So we should never be frightened of these 4-3 fits. It's called well, a Rosian fit. And by the same token, could I, could I reverse? And then after she said uh, four hearts, saying for space because we now are in the same situation it's also four three yes you could do that yes and she would understand she would understand mm -hmm. and that way that he's on lead and it protects her holdings yeah that's it exactly very good so we're not going to play that um, i hope everybody will can um, can see So I hope everybody can see all the hands. So Jake certainly would lead the queen if we were playing the hand. But this is more um, an exposition on how Lebensol works rather than playing it. So is she going to make three no trump? Well, she's going to win um, the first or second diamond trick. And then she's got three club tricks for sure and two hearts. And it looks pretty awful. Very difficult hand. But the wonderful thing about duplicate bridge is that everybody is in the same predicament. That's what saves us. There's a comment. Yes. From Anita. So bidding the three diamonds, then three no trump, looks like slow shows, but she didn't have a stopper. She says, I guess the slow shows do not apply if it we do. It does. The three diamond bid was stamen. The slow, the slow shows is when a uh, responder bids two no trump. So if, there may be a hand that has it, but she didn't go through two no trump. She bid three diamonds directly. So that, that is no stopper. We, uh, we show the stopper by bidding two no trump over the interference. So I, I hope that's clear. So Jake, what are you going to do? Okay. So here's a hand somebody asked about what if you have five hearts and you have the invitational hand well let's uh, see what happens so we're going to bid 
to no Trump. Okay, now this is forcing to three clubs. Oh yes, I forgot who, okay. okay. Forcing to three clubs. Okay. Tom's licking his chops. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie is going to bid three clubs. Jake is going to pass. And now I'm going to name my suit. going to bid three hearts. Yes. Now what's going on? This is a way she didn't bid two hearts to say drop dead. And she didn't jump to three hearts to say game force. So what could this possibly mean? It's the in the middle bit, an invitational hand with five hearts. So what is Leslie gonna do this time? Come on, fine, with 16 points, off we go. So we found a nice little fit, a five, three fit in hearts, and Leslie stepped up and decided to bid game. So this is how we show the invitational hand with a five card major. So two of the major is drop dead to play. That's a P hand. Three of the major, a jump to three of the major is a game force. And going through our two no trump gateway and then bidding three of the major is an invitational hand showing five of the major and exactly eight or nine points. Excuse me, there's a question in between, several questions. Okay, from Sean, if you have four card major and a stopper, do you bid to no trump or cubit? Um, well, we said a moment ago that if we bid stamen by cubiting the enemy's suit, if we bid it directly, that denies a stopper. Okay. So if we if we go through the two no trump gateway and then bid the enemy suit, that is stamen with a stopper. Thank you. So the the sheet that I will send out will have all of these bids, as logically as I can possibly present them. Okay. Another question: the two diamond bid in the west uh, to show the five card suit is okay. It really should be a six card suit, but this is working so well, I didn't interfere. I, I prefer that when you, when you overcall a natural suit, it should be a six bagger, but it is a very nice suit. And he's got a little bit of extra strength. So I, I can't deny, I mean, this is a game where I like to play or teach pretty rigid rules to start off with. But once people learn how to play the game, everybody's going to, put their own little tweak on things and say, well, I like my hand. If I knock out the ace king, I've got three sure diamonds. I'm gonna get a heart trick. I'm gonna get a spade trick. Um, I'm gonna you know, screw them up as much as I can. So what is Marissa gonna do this time? I need your help. I think I need my help too. <laughs> so this time let's look at the hand she's got an invitational hand she doesn't have a four card major or a five card major she does have a stopper in diamonds but she doesn't really have enough to go to gain so how can she show this hand well my favorite use for this hand is to say double mm -hmm. whack it Okay. And this is a penalty double. Now, when I learned Laban Sol, this was the treatment that with eight or nine points and no way to show the hand because we had no interest in the majors, double showed values, invitational values, not necessarily the diamond suit, but we're going to take tricks elsewhere and we should be able to beat this upstart on, on pure strength alone. So I like double for penalty. That is no longer so popular. 
and I may be able to show you how other people use the double. I would, I, I cooperate with my partners, but I would much prefer to, to use this double for penalty. There is nothing better, trust me, and I'm going to show my true colors now, that when somebody you don't really care for comes to your table and interferes in your no Trump auction, and you can get plus 800 or plus 1100 instead of your 400 because he was so stupid to bid. There is nothing <laughs> as gleeful as that feeling. So, and I would deny that I would really feel. <laughs> Even on mentor night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mentor night is different. <laughs> she, said, she said somebody you don't really care for. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm showing you a possible way to treat that north hand. I like double. Okay. Let's go on to the next hand. Wait a minute. So um, in this case, because I'm sitting at 16 points, and she's invitational, I would go, right? I, I, would, I would pass and collect a nice penalty. Your partner could have five diamonds over there. Okay, and okay. So I've got, and you've got the king and, and you've, you've, got, you've got probably three nice tricks in your hand or, or you're setting up something in your partner's hand. Why, why pull this double? Okay. You have no, she, her bid virtually tells you that she doesn't have a four card major. Yeah. Doesn't have a five card major. For sure. She doesn't have uh, enough to go to game. So why are you so anxious to, to, to bid it? So take advantage of the double. Okay. You can get two diamonds and a club is three and two hearts is five and um, two spades is seven tricks. He's down two, doubled. And you're not really sure that you can make your make uh, any number of no trump. Okay, point well taken. Thank you. A question, please. When you have a five card major, can you show whether you have a diamond stopper or not in case partner does not? have three hearts with you? It's not so important because partner definitely has two hearts. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens if we get that hand. Okay. It's easier to talk when we have that hand. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, okay, and now it's hearts, and I, oh, I, I double, because, no, I cubit, I cubit, because I want to, to make a statement. No, but of course it has to be spades. What about, you see that one? Well, we will see, okay. Okay, so that's, that's all well and good, but on the way, you can show partner that you have a stopper in hearts. Yes. So let's undo that. Okay. Awesome. And this time you're going to bid two no Trump. I alerted. Yes. Forcing to three clubs. Forcing to what? I do three clubs. Yes, the same as before. Clubs. Now your partner has no idea what hand you have at this point. So, but you're the captain and she's just going to obey your command and she must bid three clubs. Okay. Jake will pass. And now Marissa is going to bid three hearts. Wow. Oof. So now what's, what's three hearts? Well, it sounds like stamen. Well, why didn't you just go two hearts, three hearts? Because she went through two no trump. She's got a stopper. Oh. Enough to go to game and a stopper in hearts. So that if partner doesn't have four spades, I mean, it must be spades if she's bidding stamen. If partner doesn't have four spades, 
she knows that you have a heart stopper. So she can get out in three no trump. Rosemary, I'm confused. Still. <laughs> How do we get, we have a, a golden fit in spades here. Mm -hmm. Is, is Marissa, Marissa's three hearts ask, telling me to go to three spades or four spades? She's asking if you have a four card major. Okay, well. So now she could pass if she had the invitational hand or she could bid four spades as she has a good hand. And I think on this hand, you can give yourself um, an extra point for the doubleton heart. Okay. You know, and your partner's, this rates to be a pretty good game. It's not- Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. There's a, <laughs> it's, there's a good play for it, for four spades. Okay, yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, and she okay. told you that if you don't have four spades, she's got a heart stopper. Right. So you could bid three no trump. Okay. And okay. Give me an extra point. Okay. Got it. Four Thank you. Mm -hmm. So going through the two no trump bid before she bids three hearts, the Q bid is always stamen. So a direct Q bid says no stopper, and going through the two no trump gateway promises a stopper shows a stopper. And in all the sequences we've done, we've had the same format. Going through bidding two no trump is always forces three clubs and then responder reveals their hand. And different things, if they, if they bid a new suit, it would be invitational. If they bid uh, three no trump, they showed a stopper. If they bid the enemy suit, it's stamen. So everything is very logical. It's the same pattern all the time. You can't see the pattern because we're going from hand to hand. But yeah. when it's written down, you'll be able to see the pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rosemary, is um, this methodology the same as the little conventions at a glance book? Yes, I'm, I, I imagine that it says exactly what I'm saying. Okay. I think I looked it up the other day because, um, and, and I think they give you a choice of direct denies or, or the opposite. But all, just about everybody I've ever played with plays direct denies. Okay. Flow shows. Okay. Mostly because it's easy to remember because of Ro the alteration. Rosemary, do you have to alert three hearts? Um, no. The, the general rule is that Q bids are never alertable. So a bid of the enemy suit is, is not alertable. Okay. So maybe you have to alert it because it's specifically stamen. So um, it might be good to alert it. it. It doesn't cost you to alert it. We have a general BBO question. I don't know if it's appropriate for now. <laughs> Uh, is there a way for us to access hands by subject matter? I beg your pardon. What did to you learn, say? To learn to discuss the bidding with a partner. I, I, I can't hear what you said. Start from the beginning, please. Okay. Is there a way for us to access hands by subject matter as you were doing to go over to learn, discuss the bidding with our partner? I, I don't understand the question. You mean, it, does, they, does BBO have a library of where you can go and look at a hand? Practice hands, I think they're asking for. On a, on a specific topic? Not yes. that I'm aware of. Um, teachers like me set up all their own deals. Um, every one of the deals that I ever use in a lesson like this, I have compiled or made up over the years. And I've got over 12,000 deals on my computer. Why? And I choose from those deals, which deals I want to display. And for Lebensol, I recently made up a whole new set for a presentation like this. So that it's always north-south and, and the hands progress from one bid to the next bid 
in what I think is a logical fashion. So um, I, I don't know really what you're saying. Thank you. On the last hand, what would I lead, Rosemary? Um, did you have a sequence? The, usually the top of a sequence. And just Queen Jack 8 7 of the hearts. Oh, Queen Jack 8 7. Um, yes, I probably would lead the Queen. You, you could, because you don't really know what they've got. Okay. If and you lead low, they might win the, the 10, and you don't want that to happen. You want to force out an honor. Thank you. The other day I was defending against some number of no Trump and I led, I held, I held ace, queen, jack, ten of spades. So I know that the declarer has the king. So I led the queen hoping that he'd have to win the king and if my partner got in or if I got in, I could run the rest of the tricks. And in fact, we defeated the contract more than anybody else did. <laughs> Everybody was in three no Trump, but but I think we, we defeated it by three tricks. So, worked out well. You have to play, play for your partner only to have two cards. So you don't want to take both of their cards out of their hand by leaving the ace and another one. <clears throat> we finished that set of boards, so now we're on random. Ah. So, anybody, any more questions on Laban Sol? A general question. Yes. Uh, for a future lesson, will you teach what to do when the overclaw is not natural? For example, a two diamond bid showing the two majors. Okay, so um, I can talk a little bit about that. Let's say it goes one note trump, two diamonds promising both majors. Well, now North has lots of options. Labenstahl still applies, but when you know that they've got two suits, you want to see if the opponents have a fit in one of those suits. Maybe you have the other one, and then you can come in later. So at the very beginning of this session, uh, Billy Grebe asked about balancing. So let me give you a sample auction, one no trump, Two diamonds alert, both majors. Pass, three hearts. I'm sorry, two hearts by um, the advancer, picking one their best major. Pass by the no trumper, pass by West, and now North wakes up. She doesn't want to bid spades because she knows that there's five of them on her on her right. So, but she's got a long minor, so she bids her long minor to balance. Or maybe she's got stoppers in both majors and 10 points, and now she has a better idea of what's going on. She can bid three no trump. So after the auction is, was finishing, bidding three no trump says, I can stop that suit partner, no problem. And, um, or she could double to say he's not gonna make it. So when they're announcing a suit and you're not quite sure what it, which suit it is that they have or that they, that they have found a fit in, you can always pass and back into the auction later. So I hope that answers the question. There's another question regarding Labensol. Yes. Ada asks, whenever we have the Labensol agreement, we don't transfer at two level. Is that correct? Starting with a bid of two diamonds or higher, transfers are off. I hope that makes it clear. Stamen is off and transfers are off. If you wish to bid stamen, I mean, you, you can't bid two clubs. If you wish to bid stamen, you may Q bid the enemy suit. If you Q bid it directly, it denies a stopper in the enemy suit. If you go through the two no trump gateway and then bid the enemy suit, it's stamen with a stopper. So I hope that helps. Yes, it does. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
a disembodied more. voice from somewhere. <laughs> okay, a couple more. It is the crux when you play with somebody you don't know and you have the agreement versus not having the agreement. Well, that's true of any convention. So um, if, you, if you don't have a convention on your card or an agreement, you, you can't use a lot of these tools. Right. So that's why it's always recommended that you find a partner who you can work with and <laughs> learn systems together and agree on what you're playing. Okay. Thank you. By the way, um, I'm going to make an announcement. I, I don't know if anybody's here to whom this would apply. As you know, we're all required to have a convention card filled out for every single person that we play with on BBO so that it's always readily available. If you don't know how to do that, or you're not comfortable with it, or you're not even sure how to fill out the convention card, uh, Robin is going to give a lesson on this, I think this coming Friday morning. I, I will publicize it through you know, a, a flyer campaign um, to give you the information and the link. She will do this on BBO and, I mean, on the Zoom and BBO, just the way that I'm doing this today. You'll go to the Zoom meeting and then she will share her screen and show you exactly how to do the, the technical job of filling out the convention card, how you get to it, basically account, uh, choose convention card, and then she'll show you how to fill out the identifiers so that it always pulls up your card when you play with your wife or your, or your spouse or whoever you play with. And she will also go over what information we've put on the convention card. We can keep it very basic or we can add in a lot of complicated stuff. Okay. By the way, when, when you become really advanced, you know lots and lots of stuff, there isn't even a place on the convention card for many things. And um, so I tend to write mine inside. I have a question, Rosie, about Lubensol is basically the way to counter uh, your opponents uh, don't or some of these other. Yes, yes. It, other ways of competing. Is that right? There are, there are several ways of interfering over a one no Trump opener. Don't is one of them, Capaletti, Mechwell, Landy, Astro, Brozel, Natural. These are all the ones that come top of mind for me. Um, so we need to know how to handle all of these. I and if it's yeah. natural, it's relatively easy with Lebensol. With, with two suited bids, um, it's often wiser to wait and see what's established and where they're going to be and then what we want to do. Okay. Okay. I used to uh, take the base suit, or I had learned that you have to take the base suit when two suits are indicated by the interference. Any such rule? Well, who takes the base suit? A responder. And what does he do with it? Uh, uses Levensel or not, based on the base suit, if the interference and what about indicates the two suits. That does not I, I'm only asking. I'm that, only asking. It does not sound like a good plan to me, unless okay. that's incomplete. Maybe okay. what they're saying is that they promise a stopper in the lower of the two suits, um, but it doesn't guarantee a stopper in the upper suit. I, I don't, okay. I'm not familiar with that agreement. Um, it's always been my choice to pass and await developments, especially if you know that their bid cannot be passed. Or you could start with a double. Most of us these days, we double to show seven to nine points. And um, it doesn't say anything about a stopper. It just, it sounds a bit like a negative double. <coughs> so, um, you know, that's a possible, you just have to agree with your partner how you're going to handle interference. What are we going to do over a natural uh, suit? And what are we going to do over a two-suited two -seated overcall interference over one no trump? And the best plan is to wait and see 
what kind of mess the opponents get themselves into and then pull out your double card and punish them for having the temerity to inter interfere in your auction when this deal really belongs to you and your partner. And of course, if you have no points, you're happy to be off the hook. <laughs> it's easy for you to pass. Rosemary? Yes. What convention is it when you open one no and a two diamond bid is showing both majors? Um, I think Capaletti would, would be that. Oh, I am, okay. I don't play that. I just didn't know where it was assumed it was showing both majors. Okay. So um, most of us play don't. So we always have the suit that we, that we bid plus a higher ranking suit. So that's pretty easy. Um, it's, it's my favorite tool for interfering and partner can pass or pick the next suit up the line and say I'd like to play here um, or one or whatever your other suit is but I can't stand the first one. Okay thank so you. It's easy to find your way to your fit um, in don't. Do you remember the hand where Tom had six diamonds so um, or six clubs so one no trump two clubs with that hand doesn't do enough damage. So if I'm fortunate enough to be dealt a six card club suit, I just overcall three clubs. And that really puts the cat among the pigeons because they often have no clue how to cope with that. But of course I have to have a decent hand to be able to do that. I can't put myself in peril just to screw them up. Remember my saying at the beginning, aggressive but not suicidal okay Rosemary, can we bid this hand I'm just um, I, somebody wants to bid it right so tom is the dealer we'll have a quick look at this hand this has nothing to do with um our, our lesson today everything is perfect so far And it continues to be perfect. Okay. So Jake had a bit of a dilemma with his hand because um, he's got a very nice hand. He wants to be in game, but um, he can't bid no trump. I think there's a better bid for your hand, actually, um, Jake. Three clubs. I would be inclined to bid two hearts, over two diamonds to bid two hearts. It's certainly forcing. It's, I think it's forcing. And of course, this sequence always suggests that he has five spades. It's embarrassing if um, he now jumps, you know, jumps in hearts. But if he were to jump in hearts to four hearts, you mm -hmm. would bid five diamonds. He's bid two no trump. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So he must have club stoppers. So that makes you feel much better. You know. <clears throat> no, three no trump is perfect. Come on. How about six diamonds? Hmm. That's what Tom was thinking. Yep. I mean, that's we'll what that's what Jake was thinking. So it looks like three no trump will make. Um, you've got two spades, and a heart is three, and two clubs is five, and uh, six diamonds is eleven. That you might be able to make six diamonds here.
you might have to lose a heart somewhere along the way. I don't know. get rid of that one that we get 